Hi everyone, I wanted to talk about plyometric training. Plyometric training is a form of exercise that focuses on quick, explosive movements, and it is designed to improve an individual's speed, agility, power, and their overall athletic performance. Plyometric training has multiple various performance benefits and measures, and I'm about to discuss those with you. One performance measure that plyometric training helps with is the improvement of power. Uh, exercises like squat jumps, box jumps, med ball throws, they all require rapid muscle contractions. So this is why plyometric training is a great way to increase an athlete's power output. Another great aspect of plyometric training is speed. So when you want to improve your speed, plyometric training is great for that because it requires you to work on the stretch shortening cycle. This is important because it makes the uh, muscle fibers work together and fire more efficiently, which improves your coordination, which can lead to faster running times, quicker change of direction, and overall an improved speed in different sports. Regarding strength, plyometric training involves having to engage multiple muscle groups at the same time. This is very beneficial. It's, it's time-saving. It's more efficient for athletes. It not only improves muscular endurance, but also helps with your strength gains. So combining things like strength and speed is very important in certain sports like basketball, soccer, track and field, and things like that. Jumping ability can also be greatly enhanced through plyometric training. Um, depth jumps, squat jumps, box jumps are also really good at increasing an athlete's vertical jump height if done properly. Um, improved jumping ability is beneficial in a lot of sports, volleyball, basketball, uh, track and field, like the high jump where getting off the ground quickly and efficiently is extremely important to that sport. So it's important that the proper exercises are done based off of what sport an athlete is playing. Um, plyometrics can help improve an athlete's ability to make quick cuts, like evade opponents, navigate complex movements, and all sorts of things like that on the field or the court, which is why plyometric training really should involve um, some aspect of agility also. Plyometric training can also actually help with muscle endurance. Repeat bouts of plyometric training can increase an athlete's ability to maintain power and performance over extended periods, which is required in most sports. Plyometric training is also great for injury prevention. Um, strengthening muscles and improving coordination, athletes can actually fight off injuries a lot better than if they did not do plyometric training. And it does reduce the risk of specific types of injuries especially cutting movements like where you see a lot of ACL injuries um, and other impact movements. So plyometric training is beneficial for reduction of injuries. Plyometric training should be done around a coach or a trainer that is qualified to be administering plyometric types of exercises for an athlete, especially with certain rep schemes and different heights for depth jumps and things like that. It's also important to remember that plyometrics might not be good for someone with certain medical conditions or injuries. If someone has a knee injury, plyometric training probably won't lower body plyometrics probably would not be the best option for them. So that's something to keep in mind. We can see the benefits of a plyometric training program through a study by Huang et al. from 2023, where the participants in the study received 24 plyometric training courses three times per week for a total of eight weeks. After the eight weeks was over, the researchers found improvements, significant improvements in the rate of force development, ground reaction forces, jump height, and the timing of rate of force development. This shows that the plyometric training program administered for at least eight weeks, up to three times per week, can help by enhancing muscle mass, speed of movements, agility, and lower limb explosive strength, making it a very good and viable option for athletes, especially in basketball, which is what this study was about.